This is a 50 hour service on a Rotax 912 UL engine fitted to Eurostar Golf Golf Lima Sierra Alpha. This engine has been running on Avgas 100LL so we are changing the oil but not the plugs. This will be done at 100 hours. Ignition switches off, aircraft is tied down and secure, turning over the prop by hand and standing behind just in case. Waiting for the gurgle or burp, this returns any oil still in the engine back into the pot. Now removing the wire locking from the sump plug, remove the plug and drain the old oil. flushing through with some new oil. A new copper washer is then fitted and re the plug and refit some wire locking.
The oil pot is now refilled with approximately 3 litres of Aerolube 10W40 oil. The dipstick and lid is replaced. And now it's time to change the oil filter. The new one is prepared, topped up with oil and the seal smeared with some oil. Remove the old filter and screw on the new one. This is just hand tightened and a red witness mark added to check for any slippage. This is the magnetic plug Remove the wire locking, unscrew and inspect for any metal debris. Refit and torque up and then rewire lock. Check in the eight spark plugs, looking at the condition, check in the gap, fitting some new heat paste and refit and torque up and refit the caps. Check in for a secure fit. At 100 hours these plugs will be replaced as we're running on 100 LL fuel. Well, not necessarily a 50 hours, but what the heck, swap in the air filters for reconditioned ones. This is done on a rotation basis, basis between the aircraft. Also, check in the carburetors for condition and security. After a check on everything, and with the oil primed and engine run up to temperature, check in for any leaks. It's now on to check in the carb balance synchronisation. The carb sync unit, as you can see, has rows of LEDs. When it's lit in the middle, green, both carburetors are in sync. It's a question of adjusting the throttle cable lengths to get it just right. And with a tick over, idle speed of around 1600 to 1700 
OK, we're now in the workshop and it's time to open up the oil filter. see that there is a special tool for this, a bit like a can opener. Once opened it's just a case of cutting out the filter stretching it out and checking for anything that shouldn't be there. Bit of a messy job. Well that's it. Just the airframe to do and a fly test. Thanks for watching.